I'm bored today. It's hot out and the air conditioning is broke in my shop. So I'm going to do a review on these Micro 7s. I have uh, been installing them at places and I wish I hadn't. Um, I installed them at a nice apartment complex and there was one on each corner and one in a couple of, so I had six of them and they're running really good and then they they were just solid for two weeks and they just all dropped on all dropped offline and I'll, and they called me and said hey you know these are they're offline and so I went over there and it's an hour away and I went over and I reconfigured everything I called the guy oh, what is his name Jim at Micro 7 and Jim's a nice guy, he answers, he even knew who I was, sadly, because I've been calling so many times. They're difficult to set up if for like an end user kind of a thing. They're not probably difficult for someone who's used to port forwarding or a professional, uh, you know, camera installer or security camera installer. I'm not professional, but I can follow directions and I got it each time and then I need a little help. Sometimes you had to. I think you had to switch some IP addresses and you had to turn DNS on and off and or it was something else. It's been a while. Anyway, I have three of them here and they all work okay. Actually, I've got a 720p one in the corner and then I've got these a bunch of, I've got these 1080p ones. It's the the MYM 7 1080i. I've got two of those. One's right here. And it's nice. It's the one I got the the bear maze spraying. I got I got it on that one. And uh, it now it's just kind of shitting offline. It just goes offline, so I have to get on and reset it all the time. So I don't think it's if I'm gonna bear maze someone again, I'm gonna probably check and see if it's recording because I don't really have any faith that it's recording. I also have one that's outside that gets a sidewalk and all these crazy homeless people all the time yelling and screaming and on their drug deals and everything and uh, that one seems to be pretty solid but that's all fine and good and I can get this one online most of the time but this one's here because it came to me DOA and the I, I got another one of them that was DOA and I sent it back and it was really hard to do they're like what is your eBay number I'm like I give you my eBay number. They're like, well, what is your purchase receipt? And like, they need all this stuff. And in the end, Jim just put it through for me because he's a nice guy and he knows that I didn't build a counterfeit uh, Micro 7 camera, something going on here, and try to send it back. So anyway, they, they sent me a refund back into my account for that. But then I had this DOA one and I have another one that's just a decoy camera. I keep it over there because I can't get anything for it. I can't send it back. They won't answer their calls anymore from me, like at all. Any emails, nothing. I don't think it's personal because, uh, I mean, I did need some help setting some things up, but I'm also like a customer that bought a lot of cameras. I probably bought like 20 plus cameras from them. And uh, they just quit talking to me. And I honestly didn't need a lot of help. So, well, it's either this, I just don't think they have any customer support anymore. I've called from different phones to try to get hold of them, and they're just kind of gone. So if you're looking for something, they have a great picture, they have okay sound, they're supposedly waterproof, they're pretty cool because they, you screw this off and they take a 64 gig card. They have a pretty good mobile, mobile apps for Android and iOS. It seems like they work, but it's always off. I also have, I installed two at the health club down the way. One of them works, it's solid. The other one, error logging in every single time. I use the same password on both of them. It was all set up like I, it was all set up normally. And, uh, and now I can't, now the power's out in the thing. Also, there's a problem with the DC power supplies. Those little, they're really chintzy. Uh, they're these, really junky. I even have two of them plugged in here for this one that doesn't even work. I just haven't bothered to unhook it. There. Just because... Okay. Okay, well I got that set up. I've fixed all my wiring for the day. So yeah, I have, I have that one up there, which it works. It's filming this right now. And then I also have a nice one up there. That's a, that's a nice wide angle. 
Here's another one. I like these things. This is the decoy one. So if you want to do something illegal, do it in front of this one. So in short, the power supplies are bad. I'd say like about one, one or two, we'll say 1.5 out of 10 cameras are bad because I've had three bad ones and I've probably done you know, 22 or 23, I've done a lot of them. They're, they're hard to use. I fix computers all day, I'm not a network specialist, but I understand how to go step by step and install software and install hardware and make them both talk to each other. Uh, it's, it's in, in, I don't know, they're... Okay, so yeah, what I was saying, in short, this, I should do a review on this fucking chair. These are $49, and this one's locked up this high, and it's super creaky. I have another one that goes up and down, but it, uh, you know, it doesn't get as high as this, and I kind of like the height of it. And it's, the other one's very quiet. This one is not. So anyway, I have three different cameras here. Um, this is the... This is the one we're watching right now. Pretty nice. It's high def. Uh, you can't really tell the high definition here because when it streams, it's a lower bit rate or something. It doesn't look as cool. This one is a lower def, so I don't expect anything. Else. This is a 720p, and it's pretty silhouette-y, But that's that's how I've adjusted it because at night when I need it. Um, it picks up really good, so I don't really care about this this stuff up here. It's kind of kind of blowing it out, but it kind of gets in here and it does it does what I need to. At night, night vision's awesome. It shoots all the way from way down there, all the way up here. And if there's any other kind of light source helping it out, which there usually is, uh, incidentally, this camera here shoots the same infrared in here. So it helps each other out, and they have like really good night vision pictures. And people's faces look crazy. You're not really going to see much of them at night, but you can see mostly about what happened. So, yeah, the other one, yeah. I don't know if you care, but the last one is the one outside. See crazy people walk by? Enough. I didn't know these guys. This guy with the mohawk here looks like a pretty shifty motherfucker. It's like a. It could be what's his name from Taxi from the past. Uh, I'm glad I know that there's a guy. I mean, hey, I like these cameras enough. I know there's a guy with the mohawk out there now. Makes me feel a lot better. Anyway, in short, do not get these. I'm moving on to different things. I'm trying out the Arlo. My friend has. Matt has the Arlo. And he's got four of them set up, and the first run we did of them, all the batteries died in like two weeks. So we ordered new batteries, I got the cheapest ones on eBay, and they were like a, like two bucks a piece, and, and they've been working ever since. And so I'm more of a fan of the Arlo's, they go like 300 feet, they're wireless for power, they're wireless for, for data transmission, they're, if they, if they can hold up to their two months, I mean, if, if you're putting one on top of a, like the church steeple and you probably don't want to go up there all the time, run a, run a power wire up there and make sure something's rock solid as far as hardware and, and connectivity. But don't, don't get Micro 7, don't get the 720, don't get the 1080p, there's, there's no support. The hardware is, he makes it sound good when you're talking to him on the phone, yeah, they do use Sony lenses and, uh, probably some cool processors, I don't know, but they don't fucking work, they're, they're a shitty power supply, they're hard to set up, and, you know, one-tenth of them don't work, according to my math, so, don't get Micro 7 stuff, if you want something wireless, I love wireless shit, get the Arlo, try the Arlo, I've had, like, zero problems other than the battery situation, and when I install it for other people, the guy who I've installed it for is not a hacker. He doesn't know how to like get into Micro 7 and look at all the... And they have ads on the Micro 7 app now. It's really shitty. But if you go to the Arlo one, it's all smooth and it's just... It's great. He has it on his iPhone and it just looks so nice. It looks professional. 
the Micro 7 one, you can tell someone, some Indian kid is making it in his basement, his parents' basement, maybe. No one knows what basement it is. But it's definitely an Indian kid, and it's definitely not on the first floor. It's below that. It's a sub floor. It could be a sub basement. So I guess it's too late to say in short, but in short, it's a bit redundant to say it. These work. It works. You know? Everything's cool. I like the cam locator. It even tells you what else is on your network. But this is rare that they're all working. Usually you have to massage everything and get everything to, to talk to each other and reset it and update the firmware and call Jim at Micro 7 and plug it and unplug it and format the SD card. You know, I'm just trying to show this one. But unless you want to do all that stuff, unless you want to troubleshoot all the time, what I'm trying to do, oh, I just forgot which one it is. You see what kind of guy I am. I, I can barely figure out what I'm doing. So maybe, maybe you don't want to take my advice. Maybe order one just due to the fact that I don't like it. Maybe do that. But yeah, these are junk and they don't support it. They're not going to give me any money back. They won't even talk to me. And I've never, ever said anything mean to them. I haven't even bothered them that much, but yeah, that's what I think. Okay. You didn't think I'd forget the chairs, did you? Okay, so here's the tall one, obviously. This one adjusts down to this bar, which is pretty nice with my counter. If I want to use the mouse, it's almost level. Nice. Or they're individually adjustable armrests on both of them. So that one goes all the way down to here. This one I've got set at pretty low, but it'd be too high for any table. Maybe if you had a weird drafting table or something. But this one actually goes up pretty nice. And it's, it's still a little low. You have to kind of hold your hand up on the table here. These are 52 inches, I think. Tape measure, I tell you. Um, they're both decent. I mean, they get to the same height only once, just right here. When this is fully extended and this is fully compressed. I have to take this. There you go. It's pretty high. Also, this one, I had to weld it down here when I got it because it never went together right. They're 49 bucks. But I mean, I've had this one for two years, and yes, I did cut it with a razor blade on accident, and I feel really bad. And this one is, it, they, they never really are very tight. I'm always tightening down forever in the back here. They've got this little thing here, and it leans back. I mean, it's not comfortable. I mean, look at that. This one, this one's a little more erect. erectile dysfunction over here so those are 49 bucks they're like they're called office chair on Amazon or eBay I don't, I don't really remember but yeah I didn't forget about those this one's really creaky they're shitty but get them people will beat them up if you have an office you get get an extra 10 you know if it's just one for you just get it and be nice to it be nice to your chairs you should always be nice to your chairs. Right, Lila? That's right.